Hey guys, you guys want to know how to fake sick, don't you? Well, make sure you clear your history before your parents check that you've actually watched this video so that they don't work out that you're actually trying to fake sick. So let's not waste any more time and let's find out how to fake sick. Okay, so faking sick is going to be pretty hard because your parents, they've probably tried it once in their um, lifetime, they've probably tried to uh, fake sick. So they know all the tricks of the trade guys, so we need to think of something that's going to definitely be able to trick your parent. Make school sound like your number one priority, okay guys? So what I mean by that is like when, um, when you come home from school, like just before you fake sick, tell your parents, oh mum, guess what, I got this really cool assignment tomorrow and I can't wait to hand it in, I've done my best and just... Yeah, just act like you're really looking forward to the day um, tomorrow, but you're actually just trying to um, make them believe that um, school is actually trying to be, is you're trying to make school your number one priority. Next thing you're going to want to do is pick a sickness and stick to it. If you're trying to convince your parents that you're sick, you're going to need some proof, and that involves research. What temperature do you need to be at to have a fever? What are all the symptoms of having a cold? What does puking sound like? It's the homework that you wish your teacher had actually assigned you. Puking is definitely the easiest to fake because that just involves going into the bathroom and just making weird noises for the rest of the morning. It's not that hard, guys. I mean, if you have a bit of troubles making puking sounds, then why not just make yourself seem like you have a temperature? Just get an old rag or something and just uh, run it under the hot water, soak it a little bit and just chuck it on your forehead right there and uh, just lie down and you're going to have to be quick guys because otherwise they're going to um, notice that the towel's on you. So um, when, when your head does cool down, it's going to cool down quickly so you need to quickly take off that, um, take off that uh, tea towel or whatever you're using and uh, call in your parents and say, <laughs> Mom. <coughs> I think I'm a bit sick. <coughs> Can you please check if I have a fever? And they're gonna go and grab that hand. What the heck am I saying? Oh, yep, I'll be back. I'm just going to the shops to grab my hand. Got it. Oh, what am I thinking? So once you've um, yelled out that, they're gonna come inside and they're gonna get their hand and they're gonna feel and they're gonna feel that your head is actually pretty warm and they're gonna be like, oh no, honey, sorry, you can't go to school today. You got a really high fever. And that's simply how you are fake sick to get out of going to school. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so one more tip is um, don't overuse this, okay, guys? So uh, use this on special occasions, okay? So maybe you don't want to go to the swimming carnival or you don't want to go to the sports carnival or whatever. Just use it every once in a while, okay? Don't overuse it. Don't just use it every single day of the week. Don't use it once a week because otherwise they're going to soon realise that you're trying to trick them. So that's my video on uh, how to fake sick. I hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And make sure to check out some of my other videos. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.